Once upon a time, evil spirits dwelled here in the streets, and in a sense, they still do. I will tell you a story. It happened long ago, even before the revolution. It happened here, not far from Cherdin. I heard my grandmother tell it. A man was fostering an orphan girl. He was a Noah. Everyone called him Old Yegor. She didn't want to become a witch, but he taught her his craft. She was to be married to a special young man. I can't recall what exactly happened, but this young man took his own life. He was later buried beyond the gates of the churchyard. Which meant that he would pass straight to hell. As for the orphan, Vasilisa, she refused to accept it. She was intent on bringing back his soul from the inferno. To do this, she would need to break the seven seals of the Black Book, which all Yvor kept, and retrieve him. And it was for that reason that Vasilisa agreed to become a witch. But to become one, she needed to be initiated in a banya or at a crossroads. And so, Vasilisa set out for the crossroads. I slept poorly last night. Been waiting, hoping for you to return. But you haven't. You never sat at the table. Where are you now, sweetheart? Where are you headed? From relatives. And from the warm summer, you departed. There's no entrance or exit for you, it seems. Cold Mother Earth. There isn't even a churchyard fence to hold on to. Enough. I don't believe you would do this to yourself. <laughs> It'll all be well. All will be well. I'll accept this knowledge from Grandpa, though I know what you thought of that. But there's no other choice. I'll drag you from that robe myself. Sleep for now. Sleep. I won't be long.
Where have you been? It will be midnight soon. Go over there, by that milepost. Everything you need for the ritual you'll find over there. Take the candles, we'll light them and draw a circle. Well done, Vasilisa. Now let's draw a circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps, otherwise we'll be crushed by evil spirits. I've made a circle. Is it all right, Grandfather? The circle is drawn. No gaps, good. Too late to dither now. Think that I can help him? Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Well, go on. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Such a long time we've spent together. Boating with it is bittersweet. Well, take it. Would you look at that? What power emanates from the book? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Now speak the words I taught you. I'll get up without crossing myself, but I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it. And I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. For this cat, give me neither inconvertible ruble nor a fine hat. But bestow me with knowledge of the dark and eyes with vision sharp. So as I have said, so it will be. My words are stone. Here are your merchants. Now listen carefully if you value your life. To become a witch, you have to defeat this demon. Time for your first Sagavar. Such enchanted words protect from demons, but this protection fades quickly. Now draw up a complete Sagavar.
job, Vasya. This demon is nearly beaten. A couple more spells to read the world of it. Answer this small. You'll be a witch as soon as you return. Well, safe travels. So give me as many as possible. Ah, that's the spirit. But you are still too weak. Soon you will have three charts at your command. That's enough for now. Now go. Perhaps we'll meet again. If you manage to open the seal.
Mm. What? Well, are you awake? The sun rose while you were coming to. I understand it's not easy to pass through the devil's domain. So, you've seen it? Huh? Are we home? Seems like it was all a dream. The devil made me a witch. Well, then it is a good day. Uh, what did I tell you? You should have become a witch a long time ago. Well, what's done is done. The legend says that your wish is behind the seven seals. I could never open the first one. Here's the second seal. The Aspen one. How do I open it? Maybe it was the demon at the crossroads that opened the first. Perhaps. I think that demons do play a part. But what spirit is the Aspen one? Hmm. I'll have to rack my brain a bit. Maybe there's something in the books? You yourself are a witch now. I knew that you would not let me down. The news of your enlightenment has spread already. Must be the Susetkis who told the heads of the families. Now people will come to you for advice. I am old now, not many teeth left. My Khuldun powers are waning. Now it is you who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even find the right demon for your problem. Well, while you were coming to your senses, I've already spoken to most of the visitors. There's only one left. He's waiting behind the door. Look around for a start. Your book is over there, on the table. Do you remember how I taught you bookbinding? Afterwards, see to that visitor of yours. Some evil spirit has been giving him trouble. Got it? Have you yourself met this devil? I was initiated as a Khuldun once. I saw this devil who gave me my charts. I couldn't even lift the first seal. And you, who all you needed was one touch, and it's gone already. It seems there is great power within you. Got it? I got it, Grandpa. Time to get to work. Look for the spirits around the district. Maybe we'll get lucky with the seals. We should not tarry. Who knows? Perhaps after 40 days have passed, we won't be able to help. God bless. God bless, Yegor Ivlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. God bless. I come bearing gifts. Some flour for your household. Please, hear me out. I won't waste your time. I'll tell you straight away. Something terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night, when suddenly we heard some strange sounds. Then a shadow began to darken in one of the corners. Such a deep blackness... We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge in these matters. What should I do now? During the night shift at the windmill, we heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shifting shadows. What could be behind such emanations? Some bandit must have crept in and scared you. I don't think so, Vasya. Such a shadow is not the work of man. Why do you work at night? You're just asking for demons to tear you apart. But what do we do now? I did everything right when I built it. Please, help me. I have this old item that you might find useful. You'd better cough it up if we help you. All right, Vasya. Look into what's going on with that place. The demon there may be of use to us, you know? I'll find out what's going on with your chort. Oh, thank you. I was told you wouldn't let me down. Uh, goodbye for now. He's not your average miller. Usually they consort with a leshy, but this miller has some chort. Well, I'll study these seals while you're off dealing with the mill. And to make your trip a bit easier, Take this herb. It is called an Adam's head. 
It will heal you up if anything goes sideways. Time for you to be on your way. Evil spirits won't quell themselves. Well, you get all that? Wanna ask anything else? Got it, Grandfather. It's time to go. See you tomorrow. Ah, wait! One more thing. I've sent a chort to Kushova village. He must have cursed someone. Go there and fix it. You'll earn some money in process. All right, Grandpa. Masha, wait! I have business with you. Hush, but better whisper. I've got this neighbor and I hate her guts. So curse her a bit, will you? Here's a killer curse or something. Not a strong one. I've got a gift ready for you. I don't have time for this. I'm on my way to help the miller. To you, Vasilisa. God himself has sent you to us tonight. Everything has been turned upside down in our house. The enemy of man is haunting our house. The devil himself is here. Everyone is scared senseless. How did it manage to get in here? It's no simple matter for a chort to get inside a human dwelling. What did you do yesterday? We just had some tea. Natalia likes it a lot. She's quite fond of tea. Then we prayed and went to sleep. And in the middle of the night, it all started. Tea time turned into a chort invasion. I wonder why these demons appeared in the first place. And did you make the sign of the cross over the samovar? That must be it. We didn't mark the samovar with a cross. You must do this. And please, remember next time. You're such a great knower, Vasya. Please, won't you help us? Don't leave us this way. Oh... Very well. I will help you. It's no good sleeping on the street, is it? Thank you, Vasilisa. Have some milk for your journey.
A witch, a witch. I can smell your kind from a mile away. Can you spare a few coins? I don't need much to get by. A person is only as good as they are charitable. Here you are. Don't forget me in your prayers. Thank you. I'll pray for your lost soul. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. A healing herb.
expected to see a wretched old man, not a beautiful maiden. Why are you here, then? And I didn't expect to meet a demon speaking the common tongue. I'm an apprentice witch. Who are you? Ah, a demon, you say? Oh, you see, maiden, I'm not a common short. I am known as the Thirteenth Brother. I am the guardian of the village, the forest, and the secret hidden garden and its heart. I'm also the guardian of this windmill. All of this is me, the unseen master, at your service. What kind of name is that? The Thirteenth Brother? It is a name whispered through time and across many lands. Until it became my name, that is. I will tell you the story, if you want to hear it, of course. There is still time until the dawn. Well, come on then, tell me. I'm a scholar of evil spirits and the demons of the world. It is good to meet a sorceress that doesn't immediately hurl herbs and venomous phrases before engaging in the more sophisticated art of conversation. Very well. So you're interested. A long time ago, I had twelve brothers. I was the thirteenth brother, the youngest. At that time, there was a war, and we were enlisted, you might say. I served under the strongest and most capable commander. He kept me alive, and so I became the last of my brothers, the thirteenth, and the only one remaining. After all those years, fate has brought me here. Why are you here, then? Hmm. Well, what do you want with the windmill, then? Haven't you figured it out? Perhaps I was wrong about you. I thought of you to be a strong witch. A master of wit, deduction, and intellect. One endowed with knowledge that others do not possess. I guess not. The windmill is possessed. But is the demon's presence here as spontaneous as it appears to be? I must think about why he's here in the first place. You were summoned by a sacrifice. You've been here since your creation. Well, you are knowledgeable indeed. Not to mention I'm bound to this pitiful miller. But I desire a powerful master. Take me as your servant. My sacrifice will attract someone more agreeable. And you will have both your reward from the miller and the reward of my presence. Well, so be it. I could use a chort like you, if not just for the conversation. Wait, perhaps you are not as strong as you seem. There is yet to be such a Kaldun who can outmatch the Thirteenth Brother.
It is a legendary artifact. I never gave up before, and I'm not going to now. And then he disappeared. He won't be interfering with work at the windmill anymore. So, you took up a new chort. Hope it doesn't backfire. Well, while you were gone, I had some thoughts about the seals. Every single piece has its meaning, and every seal requires a demon. The second one is the Aspen one. We'll have to think what to do next. The first seal was opened by touch, and that was all. How do I open the second? Well, not by simply touching the asp, that's for sure. I think we need evil spirits. So we'll find the asp and demons. Where do you think we can find them, Grandfather? I don't know yet. I'll have to think on it. Go deal with the things you can at the moment, and let me think. Can't we open the others right away? I doubt that, but who knows? Look around a bit and maybe you'll fortune upon the right chart. I see. Time to get to work then. Shorts are back. I sent them to perform an arduous task. That's why they weren't around. Now I should give them tasks? Well, what did you expect? You knew what you signed up for. Everything has a price. Especially wishes. <clears throat> if you don't want them to torture you, send them to curse people. That's the life of a Kaldun for you. And if I don't want to curse anyone? Then suffer. These demons won't leave you alone. I've seen them before in your pastel. Not often, though. Now you will see them plenty. You can observe our entire gubernia in your pastel. In the end, you decide what you do with those chorts of yours. God help us.
So, Vasya, have you taken well to learning the mystical arts? Are you curious enough to learn some more? No. I have to go, Grandfather. We'll talk later. Yegor Yevlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna, it's me again. Came to give my thanks. The spirits have stopped haunting us. Here's what I promised. <sighs> The spirits, however, took the money I saved from my grandson's books. Well, it is what it is. Did you study your black pages or not? I'm the one with the aching bones here. Ah, damn knowers. All you can do is lens boils. I'm off to work. Good riddance. Don't give yourself a hernia, some people. Be well and live long. My godmother sends a jug of milk and sends her regards. Kolya, is that you? Hello, old Igor. So, you're back. Yeah, it's been at least a week. You sure have grown tall. <laughs> How tall are you, exactly? Uh, Twelve uh, vershoks? Well, what brings you here? I heard about your man, Vasilisa. It's hard to lose loved ones. I know. Hmm. However, I'm here for another reason. I need your help. Yesterday evening, at a get-together, I made a bet with the lads. They dared me to enter Banya at night. I don't believe all this supernatural stuff, you see. When you go to war, you see things you know. I entered this old Banya, the abandoned one, by the river. It was around midnight. I opened the door and saw a sort of blue light, and it was quiet. I reached into the stone, you know, to take a stone. They wouldn't call me chicken if I showed them proof later. Suddenly, a hairy paw grabbed my left hand. Here, look, it left a mark. That devil didn't let me go. All of a sudden, some female voice said, marry me. The hand was hot as fire. And then I just lost it, and it kept on asking. And she still held on to me, wouldn't let go. So I told her I would. Then she let me go. I ran as fast as I could. <sighs> Damn this demonic power. You are a knower. Help me, would you? Nikolai visited the Banya at midnight, and something grabbed him. What might that be? The bunny is near a river, so that was a Rusalka. No, there's a separate master with its own banya, that's it. Or perhaps a mistress. That was a banyak. Lord Almighty. What did you do with the stone? Well, I took it with me. To prove to them I wasn't yellow. Didn't tell about the demon, though. Dropped it off at home later. I told my godmother, and she sent me here right away. Ah, wise woman, your godmother. So its hand was hairy. What else did you notice? I couldn't see anything. It was completely dark. The hand was black and hairy. All right, I won't leave you to the wolves. Vasilisa, take a closer look at the demon. This Banyak may have an Aspen seal on her. Go to the old Banya tonight, both of you. Talk to the demon and find out why she wants to marry you. You, Kolya, use this balm on your left eye to see the demons. Don't forget the stone, Kolya. I'll wait for you outside. Hey, Vasya, they say you're a knower now. This may be of interest to you, then. The other day, we were gathering berries by Kajil Lake. By the way, I have brought you some. It's near Zapolsk. Anyway, we came across this clearing with holes everywhere. The horror! So I thought you might want to go there. Who knows? Perhaps there are evil spirits. 
Didn't think I'd be seeking help from nowheres. I've always depended only on myself, my military service. Well, it's quite a story. Maybe later. So, Vasya, have you taken well to learning the mystical art? No. It's you. I remember you've fallen into hell. What a talkative short. Well, what's so special about that? Me? I flew out of hell and decided to stay for a while. Help me find an answer to a question, and I'll reward you, which. Well, sure. Ask away. I'm searching for an answer. What are the three kinds of dates? You go out on a date with your loved one. Well, that's one. What are the other two? What are the three dates? You have one with a loved one. There's an exotic fruit called a date. Seems right. What is the third one? What are the three dates? You guess one, the kind with a loved one, and also the fruit. What a calendar date! It sure seems obvious now. So, you high knower. Here you are. A treasure for your efforts. Well, I guess I have to get back to hell before they miss me. What? Want some pranics? I've sold everything already. Oh, you want some herbs? Well, take a look then. I don't know if I should bless you, Vasilisa. Your road is a twisted one.
Here at last. And all these demons in these parts, I had never thought. Evil spirits have always been here. But you won't be able to see them without me. These chorts harm people, but nobody can even see them. Enemies here as well. No place is safe these days, I guess. I've been thinking, why did the spirit attack me? Someone must have been there before me. Well, first of all, it was night time, and evil is strongest at night. Besides, why did the evil spirit attack Nikolai? Bannock show up their rituals. You didn't ask to be let in, did you? No, I didn't. I just walked in. Well, there you have it. The spirit took notice of that right away. You don't say... The banya has sunk a little. That's why it got stuck, I think. You're a strong fellow. You open it. I can do that, sure. But could you put a Zagavor or something on me so no one grabs me? Wait here. I'll look around first. Time. All right, I know just the thing. Stand still. Kind Bannock, pay a visit to your home. Repeat after me, Kola. Let me host Bannock. Now, let's think of what to do with this bride of yours. She's been waiting for us, I suppose. That blue light has been shining here, right until we came in. Let's summon her and ask some questions. All right. You are the nowhere here. First, let us prepare. I'll draw a circle to be safe. I don't think your bride is evil, though. Better safe than sorry, Vasya. After that, we'll step into the circle. I'll read a special spell, and just like that, she should appear. Vasya, you are a knower, no doubt about it. In order for the Bannock to know we're here, let's heat up the stove, and that stone that you took, put it back. It's better if you do it. I sort of forgot how when serving in the army. Really? Very well. Well, let's get to work. I've placed the stone on the stove. Only thing left is to light it. Well, is it time? Yes, it is, Kola. As soon as I start reading, the demon will appear. If you step out of the circle, she'll strangle you. All right, I get it. I'll stand still. Here we go. Bannock, my hostess. Let us wash and steam. <laughs> Wait. Don't run. Hear me out. Jesus and his troops. Don't move. 
Let me talk with this Bannock. Wait. I'm not a demon. I'm an ordinary girl. An ordinary girl, you say? Bannock says that she is but an ordinary girl. Is that a demonic trick? What is she then? If you're not a demon, you must be a changeling. Yes, yes. You're truly a knower. Well, it is as I said. I've been living in the world of demons for a long, long time. Eighteen years. I've grown to resemble them. I was still a child and came to wash with my mother. I did something wrong. I can't remember what, but my mother said, Devil take you. And so, an Abdiricha took me. Help me, Vasilisa. You're my only hope. Do you know anything about Aspen demons? No, I don't. But I can ask the Abdiricha. Where have you been all this time? We wandered the Banyas. I got sent where the stove was hot. Such was my life. Now we live in this old one. How do we bring you back? To escape her, I need to get closer to the mortal world. Bring me a good belt, and a cross, the kind that's worn on the skin, and find me a name. Then the Abdiricha will have to marry me to someone. You, young fellow, don't you let me down. Only you can do it. I will help. I promise you my word. What kind of cross do you need? Just any cross won't do. I've been living with evil spirits for too long. I need one that's been worn by a demon. Well, that's a puzzle. Where can we find a God-fearing Chort? Oh, I don't know. Your friend is a knower. You'll think of something. We can give you the name right away. No, that won't do. The name has to be one from Sviatsi, and given by a priest. Where can we find the belt? I need a special belt as well. It has to be woven by a skilled witch. All right, we'll help you. It's wrong to abandon a Christian soul. Besides, you already have a groom. Of course we'll help. Thank you. Bring me a cross worn by a demon, a name, and a belt crafted by a witch. I think I hear the roosters. I need to go. Come back again with the gifts. I'll be waiting. Until we see you again. <laughs>